It can never be said that Elon Musk doesn't think big. Hot on the heels of the remarkable 400,000 unit pre-order binge for his new Model 3 sedan, he's announced the intention to ramp production up from the current level of about 80,000 cars a year to 500,000 vehicles a year. And the timeline for this big expansion? Believe it or not, by 2018, with production reaching a million units annually by 2020. Now you heard that right, a six-fold increase in production in only two years. Is it possible? Well, in my opinion, Tesla has about a snowball's chance in hell of reaching this level of production in that timeline, although Musk is commendably giving it the old college try, and he's literally sleeping on a cot beside the assembly line to speed changes. So how big is that challenge? Well, consider these issues facing Tesla. The firm has just lost two key manufacturing executives. Josh Ensign, previously VP of Integrated Supply Chain at Honeywell, and Greg Reichow, formerly VP of Operations at Solar Power Systems manufacturer SunPower. Now it's damned odd to lose key production personnel as the company is ramping up to produce the most talked about consumer product of the decade. This project should be a once in a lifetime opportunity for any manufacturing professional. The timing is curious. Now Ensign and Reichow didn't come from the auto industry. They're both proven commodities in manufacturing, but one of the reasons for hiring within the industry is the connections that auto people bring with them. Supplier relationships, knowledge of auto industry best practices, and the great unspoken asset, the ability to poach great people from the organization they've just left. Now I suspect that Musk is attempting to do it differently by hiring outside the auto industry. That's a risky move. Tesla's other big project, the Battery Gigafactory in Nevada, isn't in production yet. At this point, even if Tesla could make half a million chassis per year, it's uncertain if the battery supply could keep up. And battery pricing is a major issue. Economies of scale could drop prices or shortages could drive prices up. No one knows. A ramp up like this is going to need serious investment and Musk is going to have to go to the markets to raise the capital, probably a billion dollars or more. Now as Tesla continues to burn cash, this adds pressure to the manufacturing team to get the product out the door, but at acceptable quality levels. A recall or series of recalls could be fatal to the brand at this stage, so QA is under lots of pressure too. Is Elon Musk's strategy a good one? The concept of disruptive innovation in manufacturing is about breaking an old stagnant paradigm and making things in new ways. Disruption assumes that old established players can't or won't innovate, leaving an innovation gap that Musk can metaphorically drive an electric car through. But what if he's wrong? What if Toyota and Honda and Ford and the others are on the leading edge of auto manufacturing technology? Now the current best practice is to outsource as much of the vehicle design and manufacturing as possible to tier one suppliers. And when they do build, they do it at greenfield sites in new facilities built close to their supplier base. Tesla does it all in-house and builds in an old plant abandoned by GM and Toyota. In California, no less, possibly the most difficult state of the union to run a manufacturing operation. You have to wonder why. Now, automaking is notoriously low margin business. Fiat Chrysler's Sergio Marchione has been looking for a dance partner for years and he's found one in Google. GM is partnering with Lyft to leverage their recent purchase of San Francisco-based Cruise Automation, and they claim that they'll have self-driving electric Chevy Bolt taxis on the streets in a year. And yet, Tesla's market cap is more than $30 billion, compared to Fiat Chrysler at around $10 billion. Fiat Chrysler is profitable and produces annual sales of over $130 billion, while Tesla produces revenues of only $4 billion a year, and they lose money on every car they build. Now Tesla is still a long shot, despite massive consumer interest in their products. Musk and the Tesla engineering team really deserve a lot of credit for getting this far. Let's just hope it's a storybook ending.